What's going on there, guys? My name is Poe, and coming at you guys with a brand new Wolfenstein The New Order review. And I felt like doing a review because I just felt like it's a good way to kind of let you guys know a little bit about it, whether or not it's worth buying, so on and so forth. And I think I'm going to start doing these for single-player games that I purchased myself to kind of give you guys an overall feel, because I feel a lot of you guys appreciate my honesty and, and, and opinions about some of these games. Before we get started on this, in fact, review, I want to tell you guys a few things. I've started a playthrough on it. It's on a different channel, though, so you need to go subscribe to that. The link's down in the description below. It's the iPhone Star for Hire channel. You can go support that series if you want. Maybe just watch a couple videos, see if you like the game, and may want to try it out yourself. You could do that. So, again, support the series over there. Watch Dogs will start next week. Other games, Destiny, stuff like that will probably be over on that channel. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, go support it. Check it out there. Subscribe. Also, in other news, if you want to buy the game, you, you find what you like or here right now, you can pick it up for $20 off. It's about $40 right now on the website down in the description below. Pick that up. Watch Dogs is $15 off, so it's not as cheap as Wolfenstein. But again, you can always get cheap games on that website. If you want to pick it up yourself, go ahead and do so. But now let's just talk a little bit about the game. Now, before we do... I kind of need to let you know that I'm not a big campaign single-player guy. I've always liked playing games with friends, co-op, Halo, stuff like that. But I've never been a big single-player guy, generally because there's usually not enough depth or story to kind of pull me in. You know what I mean? I want to be immersed in it. I want to feel like I'm, you know, in a book or something. You know, I want to feel like I can relate to it. So before we get into the actual review itself, let's paint you guys a picture. It's Europe, 1946. World War II rages across Europe. Where once the Allies pressed advantage, the Nazi forces have turned the tide in dramatic fashion behind the technologically advanced war machine of General Wilhelm Strauss, Death's Head. When a final Allied assault on Death's Head compound fails, the Allies' greatest hope fails with it. Skip ahead, Europe 1960. The war is over, and the Nazis are triumphant victors. Using unrelenting force and brutal intimidation, the Nazis have brought even the most powerful nations to their knees. The Nazi regime now rules the globe with an iron fist. You are Captain B.J. Blaskowitz, the American war hero. After emerging into this world of darkness, you must launch an impossible counteroffensive against the monstrous Nazi regime. Only you dare stand up against an unstoppable army of Nazi robots and hulking super soldiers. Only you can stop Death's Head. Only you can rewrite history. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, no pressure. Anyways, that's kind of what they kind of let you know. So if you don't have it up until now, parallel universe where some odd chance Nazis still exist and they win the war. And that's basically what happens. So they just impose all their, their, their ideas. They kill everybody. You, you know what Nazis are. They're doing it now, except for on this side of the, the spectrum. They won the war. We're fighting to win it back. And that's his goal. What makes this game so interesting to me is the story. Now, I think they have a perfect balance between story, cutscenes, and the actual playable game. Most games, you'll think of something like Call of Duty, where the campaign, I would probably rate like a 4. Generally, you play 10 minutes of shooting, killing things, general AI that don't even do anything whatsoever, and then you have a 1 minute cutscene. When I play Diablo, I skip all the cutscenes. You know, a lot of games just can't pull me in and give me a good story when there's too much action between when you're doing too much shooting between it just pulls away from the in-depth kind of feelings you would get if you actually had some more solid story behind it now they do a great job at painting the the setting you got you got the story you got the plot you got all of that in there and they do a great job of balancing all of this well you'll have five minute cutscenes, and i and i find myself wanting to to pay attention to do things and everything like that you can start to relate to the guy you can understand him you, you see, you witness, and you actually experience and play through his problems. You see, you make you make decisions, you make all kinds of decisions, you know, whether or not to save a life, to not do stuff. So I think it's really, really gripping is a good word I would use for this. It pulls you in, it makes you think. You can understand the protagonist. You can understand what BJ needs to do, and you, you're rooting for him. You encourage him, and you want to be the guy that sets the world straight. So I think it's an exciting, immersive kind of game. I think they have a great balance between you got a good bit of action, you got a good bit of story. It's well molded and put together, and that's what I compliment them on. Rarely do I ever support a single player game, because most of the time a 10 hour game to me is not worth $60. The odd man out would be something like The Last of Us. Occasionally, Far Cry had some good moments in it, uh, but you know, again, that's kind of more free roam, so it's a, instead of, you know what I mean, it's a little bit more challenging. Uh, you have games like Walking Dead, which is what I would set at the top, where you had to make decisions, you could relate to the story, you'll even get teary-eyed at some of the endings of that game. Rarely does that kind of uh, experience roll over 
to the player. And I think this game does a great job at doing that. So honestly, I would rate this game an 8 out of 10. It's got all your standard Wolfenstein stuff. You, you expect to have your guns. You can akimbo uh, wield them. So dual wield shotguns, auto shotties. There's nades. You have the robot dogs, giant robots, super soldiers you have to fight, regular soldiers you have to fight. It's an extremely entertaining game. And I would recommend people to buy it and pick it up and add it to your library. I find myself having a lot of fun with it. I'm playing it on normal mode. I die every once in a while. So I know that if you really wanted to put yourself out there and you wanted to make things a little bit more challenging, you could up the difficulty. So again... I enjoy the job, I enjoy the game, I like to go in there and kill some Nazis, have some fun, there's treasure rooms, different stuff, so it has a good bit of action, great bit of story, uh, sex scenes, come on, come on, sex scenes. There's lots of really, really entertaining ideas, you get to see exactly how this plays out, you get to see what it would have been on the other side had the Nazis have won, so I think it's a cool thing, I, I thoroughly enjoy the game a lot, so again, hopefully you've enjoyed this review, I want to remind you if you want to check it out yourself and follow me along, through the journey of Wolfenstein, you could do that, or you could buy it yourself. Again, all that links down in the description below. Have a great day, guys. Smack the like button to support the video, and I will catch you with another video tomorrow.